Okay then, Scott. So, right, let's look at setup. So, shaft angle needs to be just a little bit forward, okay? Some of the shots you had there, you were kind of presetting it a little bit more than this shot, to be fair. Just takes the loft off the goal. I mean, that golf club there literally hasn't got any loft at all. I mean, you're looking at maybe yeah. 10 degrees at most. Yeah. So then when there's no loft on the golf ball, you'll do one of two things. Either hit the ball very low or try to hit it up in the air, which will involve yeah. a combination of two things. Either leaning back, which means hitting the ground behind yeah. the golf ball, or trying to get underneath the ball, yeah. which shoves the ball so up to the right there. This is more your position setup, yeah? yeah? Okay. Now, grip-wise, we discussed that at some length, okay? This position here now, you've got a lot better. Okay, if I draw a line up to the shaft there now, you can see your left wrist now is on top of that blue line, which is effectively on top of the shaft, okay? That's what we've got to try and get more of, okay? That wasn't too bad, that one, okay? But definitely keep an indication of that grip. Where's that left hand? This wrist joint, sort of this sort of yeah. crease in here, needs to be on top of the grip. We should also be able to see these two knuckles of your left hand without going, where are they? And <laughs> having a yeah. peek around the corner, okay? Get that grip better, okay? We can make a better shot, okay? Now, in terms of the swing, relaxing, you can see almost like relaxing your arms, <laughs> so nice shrug the shoulders again, that's fine, okay? So we go back, okay? Now, as we go through, this is your impact position, okay? Arms, you can see, are a little bit bent, but a goodish impact position. Look how much your head is facing up and your head is up. You watch this on the left hand side. This is so much of someone head down, trying to get underneath it. I'm looking at your head there. It's like you're almost, your eyes are straight down, head's dropping down. You're in top of the golf ball, the ball's now scuttling on the ground very, very low. That ball's not up in the air at all, as you can see. If we look at your left elbow there, now pulling away from the body, and look how narrow this swing then looks post in. I mean, that club, that butt of the club is almost like sticking on your belt buckle, yeah. and then pulling around your left hip pocket there. And look how narrow you look there. Head's down, arms are tucked in, yeah. just no space. You compare that to this, at least you're starting to move your body through now, yeah? yeah. So the same kind of position with the golf club, okay? Look at your body. Your arms are getting a bit more width as you go through. Look at that swing. Yeah. As you go through, nothing at all. Look at your right foot now starting to move. Yeah. Knees are starting to go with it. Hips are starting to move. Let's look at this swing. <laughs> Pretty much fixated on the ground. There's nothing there at all. Okay, so if the body stays back on this right foot and you keep your head down to try and get under the ball, two shots you will hit. The ground a long way behind the golf ball or... Up on the ball, sorry, or up on the ball and topping it. Yeah. And then you just... The yeah. Exactly, yeah. We've got to get you moving this way to the left as we try to... When I first stood there, when I was sort of stood, my stick man there to the side of you, and pulling the club through this way, this right foot was like, whoa, and you were like chasing yeah. after it, wasn't it? Because you weren't used to going around that much around the corner. Yeah. You were like, right, I'm going to be back here somewhere. So when I pulled the club this way, you went, oh, hang on a second, and got dragged out of position, okay? But it's getting that feeling of moving more around, keeping that nice big circle, keeping that kind of swish of the club this way, not that way, yeah. okay? If you do that, you hit the ground early, top it, lose power. Some of those seven nines there, you hit about 125, 130 yards, probably the best I've seen at seven nine yeah. ever. Okay, and in comparison to that, on the first few holes of the course you're playing at, that'll be on the green. Yeah. So it wouldn't be any more than that. You get five irons and three in hybrid, you can get that on the golf course. Fine. We did a bit of stuff there in terms of thinking about the shot, about where to avoid. Yeah. Next session, we'll go on the golf course and play maybe one or two holes just to sort of see how you are on the golf course. Uneven lies, sloping lies, different kind of things, that sort of stuff, cool. and look at different kind of decisions that are going to be made. Yeah, great. It's not just hit a full shot and go and find it. Yeah. It's like get yourself out there and learn, okay, well, actually, I'm here now, so can I reach the green? And when we actually told you on that first hole, we're going to lay up to this sort of spot short of the bunker, short of the water, and you just went, oh, okay, no, no distance required. You just relax and, yeah. psh, oh, I'm on the green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So take away that mindset, trying to whack it a long way, yeah. relax your arms, get a better technique, great stuff. And I would try to, where you can, at home, set up here, okay, um, I'll come here, set up to the golf ball there and just make kind of twists through with the club don't go back yeah. just sort of push those arms through okay right. to target just get used to that body and the arms moving together as you twist through <coughs> not this kind of pulling with the elbows yeah. and getting tucked up okay that yeah. kind of makes sense there yeah so yeah, progression wise yeah. came on nicely okay say so on the golf course next time we'll look at those some decisions we made there about what club to take where to avoid what yeah. to try to get the ball to and um, yeah then try and get those scores coming down are you keeping score Cast a cork or not? Um, you yeah. Down the car, yeah. yeah. Yeah, get a rough idea, yeah. So we yeah. get a bench what to aim for. Yeah. And then we'll sort of see if we can try and get underneath yeah. that next time. Yeah. So next sure. time you play, good or bad, doesn't matter, keep your score, 
yeah. bring that scorecard next lesson and then we'll discuss then maybe the next time on the golf course how we could reduce those scores hole by hole. Brilliant. Okay, mate? Uh, cheers. Good stuff.